I felt awful about how I had treated Fort, so I arranged a day out for us as soon as I could. I had completely forgotten that it was Heather's camera. Suddenly I was totally and completely overcome with the urge to go home. I thought I was happy here, but I realized I wasn't. Plus Fort was right, I was being delusional. The moon rocket must have landed by now and there really was no chance of peace. We had to do something. I told the advisors about my plan to go home and head off the man in black but they seemed more concerned with taxing their own people and tried to fob me off with more days out and video games. So, we smiled and left the advisors to it, waited until dark, and on Fort's advice, just sort of ran off. It wasn't difficult to sneak out, there was no one around thanks to the robot city curfew laws, but to be honest, as I was their king, I don't think anyone would have stopped us anyway. Somehow we found ourselves in the massive forest, and Fort decided it was time to rest. It wasn't long before we were inside a huge sawmill. seemed quite sad about the trees being cut down. Our journey took us through a huge theme park, it was just like the one in Alice's town but much bigger. Both Fort and I were struck by how similar the inside of a sawmill and the inside of the roller coaster were. Eventually we wound up inside the ski resort, but we could see a huge boat in the valley below. Fort suggested we travel under the cover of night, as we were getting nearer the humans, and home. The 
The cruise liner carried us through the night to warmer waters. Fort was surprised how easily we docked the boat, and it was all just thanks to my captain's software. The bay that we docked the boat in looked pleasantly familiar. The gleaming white cliffs made me feel like a soldier returning home from war. It was then I realized we were literally just outside Alice's house. We were about to continue, when Fort noticed something on my shoes. And with that, they worked again, allowing me once more to defy gravity. I kind of wished we had seen this switch months ago. But Fort just seemed to find it hilarious as we continued on our way home. Now then, said the dirty old man. Let's see what you've got. That's a body dazzler. Everything else is junk. Go on then, said the younger man. Stick everything in Bertha. It looked like I would need a ticket to get through the fairgrounds automatic doors. Mind the doors. The train is now departing. This is Factorator. Mind the doors. The train is now departing. Mainton was the next stop. I could get back to the mainland and miss the Siltons from here. This is Maiden. I'm sure you'll find the use for it, sir. The charge for it is 10,000. This will give you the maximum possible range for your junk back. The cost for this upgrade is 50,000. An additional shield orb slot. Very useful. That will be 50,000.
I made my way back out to the mainland. I suggested Fort find somewhere to hide, I thought the others may not have seen him as being as friendly as I did. I then made my way into the familiar damp hallway. Everyone was so pleased to see me. I explained how I had survived being dismantled and escaped from the moon, I told them about the robots and the game tournament, and everyone seemed to find it funny that I was crowned ruler of the universe. It was then that I felt a gentle tapping on my leg. I looked down and saw a small girl smiling at me. This is our daughter Heather, said Mrs. Silton. We named her after... <laughs> Mr. Silton burst into the room looking very angry. At first I thought he was joking, but it soon became clear that he wasn't. I can't believe you came back here. It's all your fault. If it weren't for you, Preston would still be alive. Barry, it's not his fault. But Mr. Silton suddenly looked very sad as he said, This robot got your daughter killed. It might have been because he was 10 feet tall, or because he literally weighed a ton. But everybody was so scared it thought. Still, they all agreed it was fine for him to stay. We chatted long into the night until one by one, everyone went to bed. 